I love looking through microscopes. I mean, I really do enjoy just looking through the microscopes of biological samples. I just find them endlessly fascinating. My name's Nick Barry, and I'm the head of the light microscopy facility here at the LMB. We have about 20 different systems, quite a few confocal microscopes, but also microscopes that are specialised for single molecule fluorescence. Some microscopes are better for looking at larger tissue sections. So all, all the sort of things that one might expect in the sort of research environment. And part of the role of our, of our facility is just, we just take care of the details so that people who come in to use them don't really have to worry about that sort of thing. We have um, five of us, including myself, pretty much me and John and Ben take care of most of the actual microscope hardware that's around the lab. My name is Ben Sutcliffe, a member of the light microscopy team here at the LMB. Most of the microscopes we have are confocals. A lot of them also have additional uh, features. So for instance, this microscope that I'm sat beside now is a confocal microscope uh, on the whole, but it also has an airy scan module, which allows you to go down to super resolution of uh, 140 nanometers. Um, another one of our confocals has a, a STED super resolution module that allows you to get down to sort of 50 nanometer resolution. To choose which microscope to use, we'll speak to the, the user and find out what they actually want to achieve with their experiments. What resolution are they after? What are they actually trying to assess within the sample? And then we'll guide them to which microscope we feel is going to be best for, for that approach. My name is John Howe and I work in the light microscopy facility here at the LMB. I would say the spinning disc is my favourite type of microscope. It's still a confocal. So it has the advantage of the single point scanning confocal, which was developed here at the LMB. Because you scan multiple spots over the sample simultaneously, you can build up an image much, much quicker. And that makes it compatible with really big samples and live cell imaging. Jerome is our image analysis specialist. So he he sort of looks at the data once it's come off the microscope. I am uh, Jerome Boulanger and I work at the light microscopy facility. I am uh, working on analyzing images, so we need to process them so that there are uh, less numbers. We can't face uh, these millions of individual numbers and we have to make sense of them. The kind of problem we can have is starting from improving the pictures to making them sharper or correcting some artifacts to characterizing a phenotype um, that is putting number on uh, what is in the picture. James is our sort of mi new microscope builder, so he's working sort of right on the cutting edge of, of light microscopy. I'm James Manton and I'm an optical physicist working in the light microscopy facility at the LMB. My main uh, focus is the development of new techniques and new technologies. The main advantage of developing our own instruments is that um, we have complete control over what it is that they do. We can customise them to the needs of all the different users. We also get to sort of investigate potential new ways of doing things. One really, really interesting and kind of cool project that I was involved in recently was looking at the beating frequency of cilia on the surface of small pond organisms called tetrahymena. Andrew Carter's lab wanted to, to find out how these cilia were formed and what certain proteins contributed towards their formation and their function. So I helped take really high resolution, very rapid images of swimming tetrahymena so that we could calculate what effect various mutations had on the beating frequency. So my project at the moment is to develop a light sheet microscope which allows you to get higher resolution in the Z dimension um, using a thinner beam that's swept across the sample as opposed to a static broader beam. What makes it easy here at the lab is, is this real collaborative environment. It's just so important. We're not doing stuff because, you know, it, it's a sort of vanity project. It's something we like to do ourselves. It's driven by what scientific problems people have in the lab. And then we're saying, you know, we can contribute to solving that problem for you by making these instruments. We have this workshops here that are just a, such a rarity. They've been sort of edited out of many, many uh, academic settings and here they, they can make us fantastic instrumentation and electronics all bespoke. One of the most interesting things I did recently at the LMB was to help a member of Madeleine Lancaster's lab image the cilia um, moving inside the cyst of a cerebral organoid. It's something that had not been 
tried before. So we tried various different microscopes because we were unsure which was going to be the most appropriate. So we attempted it with light sheet microscope, um, light sheet microscope, and also then a spinning disc microscope, and we got quite good results. Building this in house was actually probably easier to do in the LMB than it was in most departments uh, because we have this exceedingly good mechanical workshop, and so the fact that we could do a first design, try it out, work out that that wasn't quite right and didn't do quite what we wanted, and then go back to the workshop in-house and get a new plate made within sort of two or three days it was really helpful for getting this all set up in a timely manner. The thing that I really enjoy about my job, the, the best part of my job I would say is helping people, helping them get the best from their samples and I guess seeing the look on their face when they, when they realise what high quality images they can acquire when they do it the right way. Working at the LMB provides a nice uh, scientific environment, there is a lot of nice interaction on, on the very cutting edge uh, science happening here. So this is really exciting to, to be here for this. I think the best thing about the LMB is the collaborative nature of the science. People are always asking everyone they meet questions about how they can improve their, their experiments and get a better understanding of what they're trying to do.